Hello everyone. In this session, we will take a look at a series of multiple choice questions. You would learn about what is the questions asking you about. So you would learn about how to approach this question from a knowledge. What is the question asking about? What's the topic? What's the area of competency that they want you to know? That's one that's important. Two is how to answer the question, strategy on how to answer the question. I always tell the students to put yourself in the shoes of the exam writer. It's so easy to write the correct answer choice because that's the correct answer choice. What's more difficult for the exam writer is to select ex actually the wrong answers. And under those circumstances, if they select obvious wrong answers and you understand the topic, it's easy to spot those wrong answers. So it's harder for the exam writer to choose the wrong answer because they have to, to make the wrong answer difficult. And that's difficult by itself because the right answer is correct. They know the correct answer, they can put it. So if you understand the topic, it's easy for you then to spot what's obviously wrong. So that's what you need to know. Also, as I'm going over these questions, I will make sure I will point out what to look for in the question. For example, if there's except four, all the following are correct except, you have to be careful. Except four is you're looking for one answer, maybe three incorrect, one correct, or three correct and one incorrect. So you have to be careful what you are being asked. Always, if there is a question with a lot of numbers, read what you are being asked first. Because if the question involves a lot of, lot of financial data, they could ask you many questions. First, look at what am I being asked? So as you navigate through the data, you would start to kind of pull that relevant data that you need to answer the question. So I will show you these techniques step by step, whether you are a CPA exam candidate, CMA student, or an accounting student, or a finance student. You need to learn how to tackle multiple choice questions. It's not only the topic, it's the technique, the strategy that I will show you. Let's go ahead and start to tackle these questions. Let's take a look at this question, seemingly innocent question. The balance sheet is prepared to report what? So what does the balance sheet report? Well, let's eliminate the easy answer choices. Cash in, cash inflow and cash outflow. That's the statement of cash flow that's out. Net income or loss at a point in time. I hope you know that's the income statement. Asset liabilities for a period of time. That sounds good. Asset and liabilities. Uh, it does report those, but is it for a period of time? And is this the only thing? I don't like the period of time. Asset liabilities, I like it so far, and equity at a point in time. That's correct. The balance sheet shows you your assets, your liabilities, and equity. It's very important to remember it is at a point in time. Choose the correct answer, check your answer, and move on. Let's take a look at this question. What does long-term solvency indicate? So we're looking at, do we know what long-term solvency? Well, for one thing, it's long-term, right? That's easy because it, you're already being told that. So it has to do with long-term. Now the question becomes, what is solvency? Uh, what is solvency? Solvency says, can you survive? Are you solvent? Are you solvent means you have enough liquid asset, you have enough cash to survive. Well, what does it mean? What does it indicate? Is it indicate efficiency, how the company managing its resources? No. Solvency and efficiencies are two different things. Efficiency is how fast, how well you can, uh, how well you are using your asset, not about solvency. So that's out. How profitable? Well, that's important, but that's measuring profitability. How profitable for a, for a period of time is a measurement, but it's profit. It's out. The relative value of your current asset to long-term asset. This is basically a ratio. It doesn't tell you much about long-term solvency because it's telling you how much current assets you have relative to long-term assets. So it has nothing to do with your survivor surviving in the long term. Is it the ability of a company to meet its long-term obligation? And the answer is yes. Solvency deals with your, in its long-term, long-term liabilities, your ability. Can you survive in the long-term 
to meet your obligation so in order to survive you have to meet your obligation and solvency will help you de make this determination therefore what you do is you answer the question you check it and you move on to the next question let's take a look at this question when a company when a company lacks long-term solvency what does that mean so they're asking you here about solvency again when they don't have long-term solvency when we say the company don't have long-term solvency what does that mean well what is solvency can you survive in the long run how would you survive you survive by paying off your long-term obligation so what does it mean when the company lacks does not have this long-term solvency well if you don't have solvency what's the risk what's the issue the issue is you cannot pay off your debt so the company does not have pay, does not have cash on hand this is more like liquidity uh, rather than solvency because cash on hand means are you liquid so it's not solvency the company is not able to refinance its long-term debt well you may not have to refinance if you cannot refinance if you pay it you're fine but if you cannot refinance it that's different the company is able to pay its short-term debt well long-term solvency deals with all sorts of debt including short-term and long-term d there's a risk that the company will not able to repay its short-term and long-term and this is what lacking solvency it means you are going to be running out of money out of cash in the short as well as the long term solvency is important for a company to survive if you like what you just saw how to solve these multiple choice questions whether you are an accounting a finance student a cpa exam candidate a cma exam candidate i strongly suggest you visit my website for additional mcqs video mcqs that's going to help you whether you are a student or studying for a professional certification. The best investment you can make is invest in yourself. Check out farhatlectures.com. Start your free trial so you have access to additional resources and succeed. Good luck, and I hope to see you on the website.